guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two great tips ways to create a YouTube thumbnail in Filmora 10. So you know that uh, when making YouTube video, it is very important to create an impressive uh, YouTube thumbnail for your video because uh, it can grow your audience and many people may want to click to, to watch your video. Uh, by the way, to be honest, I'm a very bad designer, so my thumbnail is always uh, has my face and some text and yeah, some some software background uh, image or stuff like that. Uh, by the way, in Filmora 10, we have some uh, effect and some overlays that we can use to make YouTube thumbnails uh, without using Photoshop, and we can uh, create good thumbnails with Filmora 10. Before going to my computer screen, uh, I want to mention that uh, Filmora 10 Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals is now live. You can check out the link I put in the description to get 30% off Filmora 10 Lifetime License for both Windows and Mac OS. Okay, be sure to yeah, check it out. Uh, now let's go to my computer screen. Alright, so now I'm in Filmora 10. And uh, first thing first, we need an image of uh, the character that we want to uh, create a thumbnail. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use my, myself, my image, uh, as an example, okay? So let's go back to my media here, uh, in the media folder. And we have an image here. I always take uh, some snapshot, some funny snapshot when creating YouTube thumbnail. Okay, and the first thing, uh, we need to find a background for our image. First, and let's hide this one and go to the title. And at the title, try to go to uh, the openers. So we have an opener folder here. So uh, remember, we have many, many opener, and you can select any of, of these opener uh, to use as a background. Okay. So I'm going to use this one for example. This is a gaming set, racing pack, and we are going to drag and drop it onto a timeline. And now we we need to play the video uh, or play the the opener. Uh, and pause at the position we want to create a thumbnail for that okay I think this look nice at this position okay and uh, we can use the text here also if you don't want to use the text you can delete th this text by the way I'm going to use this one and I'm going to double click and delete this one uh, we don't need this one and uh, we can use this one uh, so let, let's type Femora 10 and thumbnail. Alright, and you can change the text, uh, the forms and the size here also. So I'm going to make it to 100. Okay. And then move it to this position. Okay. So I think the background looks fine. So uh, now we are going to take a snapshot of this background. Okay, so we can press this button to view uh, in full screen and then we can take a snapshot and then go back to my Filmora and then delete this one and then go back to the media folder here. So we have a snapshot here. So we are going to drag it to the timeline and now we have a, an image, a background image look like this. And now we can turn on this layer. Okay, and for the first solution, I'm going to use an image mask and also an, a border around the image uh, to create a YouTube thumbnail. It is very easy. Okay, so at this position, uh, I'm going to the effect tab here and then go to the utility and then drop an image mask to the image. And then I can adjust the image by double click at the image here and go to the image mask. And now I can change the size and the position of the mask, uh, but we are going to use this one, the circle one. So I'm going to adjust the height and the width. Look like this and the position. Okay. And also I will scale down the image uh, to be at this position. Okay, so I think it's uh, good for me and we can click OK and, and now we need to add a border. So this is a border effect and we can drag and drop it right here. So it's look fine for me. So I can preview the thumbnail and take a snapshot now. So we can press this button to view uh, in full screen first. 
and then we can take a snapshot with this button and that is for the first the first YouTube thumbnail okay and then we can go back to our media folder and find the snapshot in, on our computer uh, and you can right click here and select review in Explorer okay so this is a snapshot and we can see the size it is in uh, 1080p and uh, the size 1.15 megabyte and we can double click to view the image all right so, so it look nice right and now you can upload it to YouTube and use this thumbnail for your video so that is the first solution and now we are going to make another YouTube thumbnail with uh, some AI portrait effect okay so we can just close this one and go back to here all right and now I'm going to delete the effect of the image here uh, let's right click and go to the effect here and delete the effect and now we need to use the AI portrait which is in the effect tab here and then select this one the AI portrait and you have the the effect to remove the background here human segmentation so you can drag and drop this one to the image and it's look fine right and we can double click at the image go to the video effect here and then find the human segmentation effect to adjust adjust the border and thickness so we can reduce the increase the egg thickness okay and increase the edge feather also I think it's fine for me uh, now we can move the image to this side and also scale it down I, uh, something look like this uh, would be fine for me and I'm going to add a border around my my subject also so let's click OK and we have a human border here and we some have some other effect here by the way we are going to use this one and drag and drop it directly to to the image here and now again uh, we are going to view in full screen and then take a snapshot and we finish with the second one okay so I'm going to click here to view full screen and I think it's just fine and we can click this button to take a snapshot and then minimize it now we can fire it on our computer okay and this is a snapshot the second YouTube thumbnail all right so that is two ways to create YouTube thumbnail for your video in Filmora 10 I hope you like the tutorial if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye bye